Hello, this video is going to be about some home remedies for colds and these are all natural things that I want to talk to you about. So the first one is Manuka Honey and this is probably my favorite one. I've tried some different brands but this particular one I feel like works the best for me and this is great for um, sore throats or just in general if you have a cold that you're battling or if you feel like you're going to get sick or if you're going to be exposed to like a lot of people and you're worried about getting sick you can take this as kind of a preemptive strike and just take like a teaspoon a day or a couple of times a day um, I feel like this is really great and it really helps me and then another thing is elderberry syrup and this is one that I have from Honey Gardens. This particular one also has raw honey, um, organic apple cider vinegar, propolis, and echinacea in addition to the elderberries and also um, green alcohol and water. And I was using another elderberry syrup that's called Sambucus prior to buying this but that one had added sugar in it. I mean, this one is also sweet because it's got the raw honey, but I prefer raw honey to just other sweeteners like sugar. So that's why I switched up to this one. And of course, the thing with home remedies is you think it helps, but you, you never really know for a fact. Like, can you guarantee that you wouldn't have been feeling better by the next day anyways? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. But I feel like all of these things kind of help, and so I like them and I use them. Um, but of course, I can't say with 100% certainty that I definitely didn't get a cold this time around because I used this product. But, you know, I feel like they can't hurt, and they're all nice, natural products, and I really like them. And the next two I'm going to talk about is Unka by Nature's Way. This is for adults. It is in alcohol. It's, um, it's like an extract solution in alcohol, and it's a little dropper. You put this in your mouth. And this one is for children. It is not an alcohol. It is a syrup. This does have sugar. One thing that is kind of problematic for us with this Unka that I haven't found anything on the internet so maybe it's just my family but whenever I gave my daughter this syrup it says for two-year-olds um, or two to five take half a teaspoon three times a day so to be safe and you know just taking this for the very first time I gave her half a teaspoon just one time not three times and then the next morning when she had her milk in the morning she threw it up and I tried this again um, you know like a week or two later not thinking that, you know, maybe it wasn't linked to this. I mean, who knows? She didn't throw up right after. She threw up like a whole day later. Gave it to her again, just one time during the day. Next morning, you know, she had her breakfast, she drank her milk, threw up. So I am convinced that this is making her throw up for some reason, even though it's supposed to be, you know, for children ages two and up, there is something that does not agree with her. And then I took this. Um, a couple of times. It says it shortens the duration and reduces severity of cough, congestion, sore throat, nasal and bronchial irritations. So I took this less, a lot less than they tell you to take because it says adults and children 12 and older take 1.5 milliliters three times daily. And I took however much is in this little thing. It's one milliliter this is what it goes up to. So I just kind of did like whatever this would go is almost one milliliter probably. And I noticed that my son who is here with me taping this video. Oh, he looks mad. Why do you look so mad? He started spitting up because I, I breastfeed him. So he started spitting up and he never spits up. Like my daughter used to spit up all the time when she was little, but he never ever does. And so I was like, okay, this is clearly having some sort of throw up -y effect on him as well. So just to be cautious, I stopped taking it. I only took it like one time, but I didn't take it anymore after that. And I didn't give the syrup to my daughter anymore. So just something to be aware of. Like I feel like these are good products, but they just don't agree with 
my children. <laughs> but I never read about a complaint about anybody else's children. And I think this I'm going to take once I'm not breastfeeding him any longer, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I'm going to continue to take this because th this didn't make me feel bad or throw up or anything. It's just my children that I'm seeing this effect on. And then the very last thing, this isn't like a particularly natural organic thing, but it is natural in the sense that it's only purified water and 3% um, sodium chloride, which is salt in here. And that's all there is. It's just a nasal spray that'll help if you, you know, are having some <laughs> issues there in your sinuses. And the special thing about this is those are the only two ingredients in here. And it comes in this nice little bottle, um, doesn't have CFCs, <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and because it's not like one of those plastic bottles, you don't have to worry about the stuff germs going back in there. And that is the nice thing about it, but also the fact that it doesn't have any additives to it. Things that are in your typical drippy plastic bottles will have... Um, some sort of preservatives in there which I was trying to avoid and then when I went to Whole Foods to try to look for some kind of nasal spray something natural just with salt those had I couldn't find a plain one they all had some kind of additional ingredients some kind of homeopathic things and I mean I'm sure that's fine and those ingredients are you know I mean it's Whole Foods so they're probably natural and stuff like that but I was just looking for something really plain um, especially if I'm gonna use it on like my daughter who's only two and a half I just want you know the water and salt I don't want any kind of weird extra things in there that I don't know how she's gonna react to and this is literally the only one that I could find that's just the two ingredients, no preservatives, nothing else in here. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So those are kind of all the things that I have used for to fight off colds or to prevent colds. And again, you know, I can't really guarantee that these stop to colds or made it shorter, but I feel like they help. Like I feel like they really do work, especially the Manuka honey. Um, even my husband who doesn't believe in any of this stuff <laughs> He had the manuka honey when he was sick and he's like I really think that this helps my throat my throat feels so much better um, already the next day, so uh, That is definitely also the most expensive one as well because it's like 40 something dollars on Vitacost $41 roughly but this bottle generally lasts us a really long time this year we've been sick a lot so we kind of went through a bottle of this pretty quickly but usually this lasts me like a year so i just wanted to mention my natural cold fighting remedies in case anyone is wondering and this video will be helpful to you so thank you so much for watching bye